What am I most looking forward to once quarantine is over? What am I looking most forward to? What I'm most looking forward to? What I'm looking forward to? One thing I'm super looking forward to. What am I most looking forward to? When quarantine is over. A few days ago, I put a message out across all my social media asking people if they can grab their phones and record themselves answering the question, what am I most looking forward to after quarantine is over? I then asked them to email me their responses. My objective? To create something that would give people some hope that there are so many wonderful things to look forward to in a time when truthfully the thought of looking forward is kind of scary. If you're like me, I've basically avoided the thought of thinking into the future because I don't know what the future holds once this is over. I thought it would be nice to hear some optimism during this time. I expected maybe I'd get about five or ten of my friends who were willing to share their stories with me and I'd cut together a video to share with anybody who needed some uplifting. But what I got was so much more. I received around 70 responses from all over the world. People sharing their stories and curiosity for what this project was. I laughed, I smiled, I related, and I empathized. I want to share these stories with you and I hope that they leave you with the same warm feelings that I felt when listening to them. What are you looking forward to once this pandemic ends? That's a good question. I would say I'm excited to just be outside freely and go wherever I want, whenever I want. Just the freedom, to have the freedom back. I feel like now, well, I've always had um, felt gratitude just towards life in general, but now I feel like it's like an even different type of gratitude because Obviously, this has never happened before. So having my freedom, seeing my people, doing everything that I wish I could be doing. I think like most people, I'm looking forward to seeing my friends and my family, um, being able to take a hike, getting a mani-pedi because your girl needs one. Um, but I think what I am most looking forward to is seeing how humanity readjusts into the social world. Um, during this time of social distancing, we've seen kindness, we've seen love, we've seen bravery. Um, we've realized how much we have taken for granted. We've seen the impact that our everyday life has had in our environment and how diminishing certain things has helped Mother Nature heal a little bit. So I'm looking forward to seeing if this love and kindness that we've had for one another and for Mother Nature, if it sticks or if it's something that was just temporary. But I really do hope that it sticks. This newfound humanity I think we all have, especially our generation. I'm excited to go outside and see people just waving at each other, smiling at each other, holding the door open for each other, saving a passing light for each other. Small acts of kindness. I guess I'm just really excited for small acts of kindness once this is over. I'm most excited to go outside and see how happy people are and how much they appreciate everything just a little bit more because we got a little taste of what it's like when it all gets taken away from us and I think we'll enjoy the simple things and the little things a lot more now. You know, that feeling of connection and appreciation for many of the things that I think many, if not all of us, have taken for granted, you know? Just being with your friends, maybe on a rooftop laughing and looking at a beautiful view or walking on the beach, watching the sunset with someone you love and care about. What I'm most looking forward to when quarantine is over is being able to go to the beach, the lake, the river, honestly, any body of water. Going to the beach and just being around people again and being in the sun. Road trips, road trips with friends, driving down PCH with the windows down. I'm excited for more road trips and traveling and the beach for sure. New playlist to blast in the car. All I want to do is go to the park with a nice big blanket and read a good book while the sun shines down on my face. Definitely miss just going outside and just going on adventures, vibing. I can't wait to explore new places with those that I love. I really do want to go and travel and do that with people that were there for me, especially during this time of quarantine because it was a very difficult time. Traveling to new countries, meeting new people, meeting new people from around the world, learning new cultures. Traveling, sitting on a plane, 
next to a stranger knowing I'm on my way to a new city. Traveling to see family that you haven't seen in a while and just reconnecting with those that you've been separated from for all this time. Of course, I'm looking forward to being with my family and seeing my friends, but I'm so ready for the beach and brunch. I'm most excited for Sunday brunch with my friends again. What I'm looking forward to most when quarantine is over is just sharing a meal with my friends. I don't need anything big, just the people I care about around me. I'm looking forward to something as simple as being able to eat at a restaurant or eat at a public place. Even with my family or friends, just being able to not have to worry about going back home and pick it up or get it delivered. Just being able to get your food right away and just sit down, relax, and eat in a different atmosphere. Uh, going out with my friends. Where? Sushi Co. Sushi Co? Yeah. I'm most looking forward to sitting in a restaurant and eating some pad thai. First off, all the fireplaces I'll be going. Um, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Park's finest. Uh, I mean, there's just so many different different places, but definitely going out to eat. I just want to go back to school and miss going out with my friends and eating out. Korean barbecue. What I'm looking forward to once quarantine is over is going to Pho 999 with all the homies. Most definitely having that connection with my friends and realizing that we took every other day before this for granted and that we should definitely, you know, live every single day moving forward in a different way. Less hatred, less drama, just more love, knowing that we all went through this and we all suffered through this together. You know, choosing to be quarantined versus having to be quarantined are two different things. But we're going to push through it. It's going to be solid. We're going to get it right. I think that if I was to talk about what was going to be the thing that I was most excited for after quarantine, it'll probably be um, just to go back home. I'm an 18-year-old girl who lives in Singapore, um, and I was actually born here. But I grew up most of my life in Malaysia. And now that I've moved back to Singapore, I've been back and forth, back to um, Kuala Lumpur um, constantly. Like almost every other month I'll go back. But of course, because of the situation, I've not been able to go back home and see my friends and see all those places that um, actually mean something to me. I feel really alone in Singapore. Not, not going to lie, I have a lot. I do have friends, it's not like it's terrible here or anything, but just this place doesn't feel the same and um, it's honestly making me really sad. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, I don't know if this will ever even make it to you hearing it at all, better yet even, especially not even um, being a part of your project, but I just thought I'd participate anyway. And yeah, yeah, okay, thanks. Thanks for this, bye. Just being outside, being outside and not worrying about social distancing and being free to go where I want because I want to and not because I have to think about, is it essential? Do I need to go out there and just live? What I'm looking forward to the most is not having to worry anymore. I think we all took for granted of what the world was before all of this and the severity of what was to come. I worry for the front line and all essential personnel, the small businesses, those who got laid off, and the homeless and marginalized communities. I worry that if I come into contact with other people, I might contract the virus, or that I will receive news that a family member or friend did. So even though this is our new normal, all I hope is for the day that we can all stop worrying. To be able to hang out with friends and family as well, to enjoy the events, to enjoy the festivals and trips that we're planning on making, to experience that little piece of happiness with your loved ones around. I am looking forward to family parties so we can all dance together. My love language is physical touch and quality time. So once this quarantine is over, I'm 
really, really looking forward to spending quality time with my loved ones and getting to hug, embrace, and kiss them. I'm excited for hugs and being around people. I'm just looking forward to being able to hug all my loved ones. I can't wait to hug my friends and my family. Giving my friends the tightest and most warmest hugs. Giving my homies a big fat hug and kiss when I see them. I'm looking forward to connecting with loved ones and attending live events again. Seeing all my friends. When the Los Angeles Dodgers hit their first home run of the season, I am going to experience a state of nirvana. I really am. The first home run of the year. It's going to be so special to me. I can't even, I can't put it into words. I just did. Okay. I'm going to the gym, putting some motherfucking work in. Going to the gym again because it was an hour of my day where I could just focus on myself and focus on self improvement. Man, I'm looking forward to these hoops. It's time for the Clips to win a championship, bro. This is the year. It's gotta happen. Ain't no cancellations. Kawhi, PG, we getting it. Let's go. What I look forward to the most after the quarantine is being able to play basketball and shoot the shit with everyone. Picking up a basketball, shooting some hoops with your boys. I just wanna hoop and give all my homies a hug. Hooping with the homies. I wanna hang out with the boys, play basketball with them. Man, once I'm done with this quarantine, I, I just want to go play soccer again. Oh, I want to go play soccer on Wednesdays. I just want to have fun. And I just want to be able to get together with my friends out here in the house and just chill and watch wrestling and eat food. Honestly, just living my best life. So before quarantine started, I was going through a tough period of my life and I was just so busy with everything else going on that I don't really think that I had time to process it. And once quarantine started, I was able to do a lot of thinking and self-introspection. I was able to figure out what was important to me and also the things that I wanted out of life. And based off of that, I was able to create goals so throughout this quarantine, I've kind of just worked towards my goals and set a routine for myself. And I'm really excited to keep up with that routine and keep on working towards those goals once quarantine ends. Getting back to doing what I love, to seeing people that I love, being in the presence and spending my time on things that have real value to me instead of being home and on social media, caught up in things that aren't so important. Being able to travel again and do everything I was doubting myself of before. I really had no direction of where I wanted to go before all of this happened. And after seeing how easily time can be taken away from us, it's just made me realize that I shouldn't think twice and just dive you know, right into everything I want to do and buy that one-way ticket and just just do it all. I'm looking forward to starting a new life. I'm looking forward to just starting a new chapter in my life. I think during this time of being alone, I've realized that um, it's either now or never to really start working towards myself and my passions and things that I want to see differently. So I hope that when this is all over and done with, I can just actively start setting those plans in motion. I really hope to build stronger connections and to get comfortable being uncomfortable in my day-to-day -day life. I am looking forward to becoming more selfless to be more forgiving and to be more loving. I'm most excited to continue being vulnerable with friends and family. Um, throughout this whole thing, I feel like we've been connecting a lot more and being more open and honest about our feelings and ourselves. And I'm excited to just continue that when all of this is over. I'm simply just looking forward to making the most of every single day and making every day count. To progressively um, developing my self and my presence online and my business and whatever all three of those may entail. Also um, breaking down the mental blocks and creative blocks that are um, prohibiting that progression. I was furloughed from my job due to the coronavirus pandemic 
and luckily I've been receiving the unemployment benefits and those checks are paying me way more than my job actually would. So I've been saving up a lot of money and once quarantine is over, I'm looking forward to investing in myself and starting my own business. Going back to work, honestly, where I can dance and teach my kids and um, being able to make a positive change or positive impact as a coach to you know the kids that really do need it I think also going to church because that's what fills me the most and helps me start my week every single week keeping the same energy working on my craft keeping the same energy is being more of an active parent keeping the same focus and motivation to keep striving and doing what I need to do in order to pursue my goals and my dreams. I'm looking forward to being on set with other creatives. Shooting with the squad, you know, doing creative projects and, um, you know, getting your vision out there, working with other people. I really enjoy those times of, of collaborating with other dope uh, creatives and, and just putting that vision to life. I'm excited to connect with new people when we're out of quarantine. You know, I've been reading a lot, working out, eating right. I just want to attract really good energy, positive people, people who always see the glass half full. So I'm really excited for that. What I'm looking forward to after this quarantine is my promotion. We're not allowed to move offices right now, so we have to stay put. So once this is all done, I'm able to get this promotion and leave this office. Also, what I'm looking forward to is finally being able to let everybody know I am engaged. And we're going to throw a whole party, me and my fiance, and it's going to be fantastic. And I'm also excited to give my boyfriend a kiss for the first time in three months. I miss the movie theater so much. I'm a movie nerd. Really looking forward to going back to the movies, having hot popcorn, holding hands with my boyfriend and cuddling throughout the movie. That's all I want. Just want to see a good movie with my boyfriend and feel loved. Seeing my friends again. I, <laughs> I miss them heaps. Um, I'm the baby of the group. And I'm turning 18 soon, so I'll be allowed to drink. So we'll be able to go out and go to bars and clubs and whatnot. But I think we're all just, as soon as this is over, I think we're all just going to stay in and enjoy each other's company. We're still going to drink, but we're just we'll be eating horrible food as well and watching movies and going in the hot tub. And I think we're all just going to enjoy each other's company because it's been so long since we've been able to. I miss it all heaps. Um, especially the girl I'm in love with, but she's never going to know that because she thinks I'm straight. <laughs> but I can't wait to see her too. Just annoying my girlfriend, having those laughs where you literally can't breathe, dance battles. Seeing my boyfriend more, seeing my friends more, being able to go out whenever I feel like it, um, finally letting go of some stress, and that's it. I love you. Ghosting everyone that I spent two months getting to know from Bumble. What I'm looking forward to most after quarantine is dating. Right before quarantine, I went through an awful breakup and I've really taken the time to heal. And truly, I really just want this summer because I am so excited to date. I just turned 24 and I missed the whole first four years of my 20s in a toxic relationship. And I just want to be liberated and have fun and go out and be free. What am I most looking forward to once quarantine is over? The contact. I'm looking forward to the feeling of someone's arms wrapped around me again. The feeling of wrapping my arms around someone. I'm looking forward to all the high fives and the fist bumps and the side hugs, even the arm punches. I'm looking forward to seeing my friends smile, to hearing their voices, to hearing the way they talk and the sound of their laugh. I'm looking forward to being in the physical presence of the people that I love. I think physical presence is so powerful and 
When I'm around my loved ones, I can so deeply feel their love and their light and their essence. And I just miss that feeling. And I'm looking forward to just existing in the same space as the people that I love. I'm looking forward to the sense of community that I feel even doing daily tasks, walking through the grocery store without a mask and gloves, walking in a park with other people all trying to enjoy the same beautiful day, the same cold breeze. I guess I'm just looking forward the most to the human contact and the type of communication and conversation that you can have in person with the people that you love. I'm just looking forward to existing in the same physical space as my loved ones. And again, I'm really looking forward to the hugs. All of these amazing answers bring me to my answer to the question. I'm looking forward to connecting with people again, getting to hear some familiar voices and the voices of strangers who I'm meeting or maybe I'm never going to meet. If there's one thing this time has taught me, it's that our time here is limited and unpredictable. So while we're here, we should do that thing we want to do, tell that person we admire them, and genuinely connect with people while we have the opportunity. Lucky for us, with technology at our fingertips, we don't necessarily have to wait to physically see people to do all those things, but it will feel that much sweeter when we can embrace them face to face. I want to thank everybody who participated in this project and shared a part of themselves with me. I think we can all use this time to learn and grow, to become better versions of ourselves, and be excited about whatever the future holds. I know I look forward to it.